Now that we can reply to statuses, we want to show the replies under here. We already have the markup for that, which we commented out, remember? So if we just bring that back quickly, we can see what that looks like, and it will be one for every status now. So we've got Billy, yes, it's lovely. But obviously this, we need to tidy up a little bit. We need to loop through the actual replies because they, remember, can be more than one reply. We can insert all the user's data to that as well. So with this then, um, around this, we need to do a loop. So we need to say for each status replies as reply. So remember on our status model, we have our replies relationship, which we've already seen. And we can just end the for each there and we'll indent that. So now if a user, uh, if a user status doesn't have a reply, we won't see it. But if it does, we will see that reply there. So let's go ahead and tidy this up and make it relevant information. So again, we have the media object for the user profile. You can reuse these templates if you want, chop it up, make sure it makes sense. Uh, this is pretty verbose and we're repeating a lot of the markup, but you can go and just style it how you want and it will make it a lot easier for you to break it up yourself. So the reply, because this reply is now a status object as well, because remember it's the same model and the same table, we now have user on reply. So all we need to do, for example, for the username, we just say reply user get name or username, like we would do for a normal status. And that gives us the fact that I replied saying, yes, it's lovely. Actually, I didn't say that, but this is just uh, some, some text. So don't freak out that the relationship isn't right here. We should be seeing what's so funny. So what we can actually do here is we can say reply body, simple as that. And we see what's so funny. We need to update the time as well. So it's exactly the same thing. We're using carbon on the created. So we can just say reply created, uh, created that rather diff for humans. And we have our like stuff here, but we've not reached that point yet. So we'll leave that. Let's implement the alt text for the profile image. So that is reply user get name or username and the avatar URL, which is reply user get avatar URL. That's that, that method. And let's just check how we're doing. Okay, so it's already looking pretty good. And of course, we want to link off to the user's profile, this particular user's profile. And we have our root helper function for that. And it's profile.index. And obviously we pass in that username, which is reply user username. And we can just copy this and paste it down to here for that uh, user's text link. When we refresh, we can click through to Alex's profile, obviously click through to Billy's profile. And there we go. So we've got all that information there and everything is set up. So we're now looping through the replies and we're outputting them. We can reply again. So I can write a question mark in there and that goes ahead and adds another reply. If we head over to Firefox, just sign out as Dale. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in as Billy and we're gonna reply again to this. So let's say nothing, reply. There we go. So Billy has now replied to that. Head over there and we see that change as well. There we go. So there we go. That's how we loop through the replies that we created in the last part and show them on the timeline.